Uh, this is Trigger, um, Trey John. Today I'm really making a super quick video about how to make an altar, which God just, you know, guided me to do this. Um, a lot of people have hesitancy making altars for like deities and other gods, but at the end of the day, you all, we're all gods, we're all light entities. And you should only feel worried if you are setting up altars for dark entities and spirits, okay? But if you're not, if you're honoring the light in which you are, um, that is connected to you, your other altars, your other avatars, you should be fine, okay? So I'm showing you this altar that has nothing to do with a deity because um, that's more sacred. And this altar that I built literally in like 30 minutes is to honor the element of fire i am an aries it's aries season um so yeah let's talk about what's on my altar right so first i didn't have a table down here so i just took a little styrofoam thing for my sewing machine that i just bought and i covered it with um yeah with this towel that represents yellow now about the direction of the altar i set up this altar in the south i mean facing the south of my house um i use my my compass on my iphone and fire is represented by the direction of south um so yeah i actually am gonna go and get really quick my journal where i took some notes about um just the fire element and everything that's connected to it so i'm just gonna go get that really quick notes i'm just showing you because this isn't a secret and i don't want it to be um so fire of course is connected to summer it's connected to the element um <laughs> i didn't mean the element i mean it's connected to the direction of south um what it's connected to um fire and the, the element of I mean the direction of south it represents illumination it rep represents the heart it represents creation it represents the inner child it represents physicality confidence sacred space cleansing protection victory banishing faithfulness courage enthusiasm and strength so different things that are um connected to this are summer of course the gin um which <laughs> Are, myth are supposedly mythological, but, you know, it depends on what you believe. Yellow, the color yellow, the color green, the color orange, gold, salamanders, dragons, phoenix, um, lizards, tigers, and lions. And then, of course, you know, you have your fire signs, which are um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So anyway, let's get talking about this altar i put these um flowers that i already had these like orange flowers i used some other little fake flowers that i had these are like poinsettias but anyway i just put them to set up you know the energy i took this thing from christmas literally whatever you got y'all just use what you got i put these uh red lipsticks as this is not a color pop ad but it's i had some red lipsticks so i decided to put it on the altar um, because I love makeup. I took some Nag Shampa, some sandalwood, and some lemongrass, um, incense, and put them up there, because they're red and orange and yellow. I took a lighter, a red lighter that I had. I took this book by Don Miguel Ruiz, The Circle of Fire. Um, I put that on the altar. I took this, um, this thing that is connected to this tea set that I made, which I made this. A while ago like last year i put you are light on it with the sun which is where you know the element of fire stems from and then um i put a tree and a seed you know faith of a mustard seed you know what i'm saying vibes anyways that's that i put that on there i put some crystals that are connected to the element of fire some that you might recognize are like tiger's eye i have some hematite here for grounding i have some carnelian over there it's just like the fire stone and some citrine as well um i got some frankincense and some myrrh right here um which are cleansing um rocks and stuff i found this little 
crocodile on a walk in my neighborhood. I guess it got cut up by the grass, like the lawnmower. But since they had lizards on the list, um, and since crocodiles are kind of like native of the swamps and stuff in the south, I decided to put it on there. So that's why that's there. Um, I just made this because I'm starting a sexual assault slash trauma support group um, hosted by the group and collective that I created called Yana, which is You Are Not Alone. So I put that um, image that I just created through an AI generator on Pixar. Um, this one in particular is from Pixar. And yeah, it says, don't forget you are not alone. But this is the phoenix, which is a fire representation. I have the sun there. So this feels really good being here, honestly, because this is a new venture that I just started in airy season. So like, you know, again, align with the energy. I put some old art that I created. Um, I just printed it out this morning, which I created this one. And then, yeah, green. So, yeah, like, I just put those up there, you know, for the fire representation. Then I also took some some incense. I got some Palo Santo. I, I put some water. Um, some red wine vinegar is in there, too, to cleanse those strawberries. But I put some strawberries there as an offering because they're red. I have some sage and some coins, you know, so we can move this money with a quickness, right? Um... And then I also set up a bunch of tarot cards that I have from this deck called Tarot del Fuego. Um, the cards that I put down there are the sun, you know, because, of course, fire, sun. I put the empress down there because she has this fire um, homes coming out of her head. And I feel like the empress and the emperor represent me as an Aries and just as a woman and, you know um person who can bear you know creation you know that creation can be bared by woman or man non-binary everyone can create so you know the empress card is just about nurturing and creation and honoring self self-love i put this temperance card because that's just something that i think i struggle with as a fire sign like patience is hard for me so i put temperance here because I've been getting a lot of patience messages and like uh, I'm so tired of reading them so I put it up here so I'm gonna ask the fire spirits to help me with my patience y'all um these cards are like perfect to honor fire energy honestly I have the chariot here because victory is mine yes um I have the emperor here because yeah that's my Aries card I was born April 14th, so we align here, that ram, that fire energy. That's why I need that patience over there, okay? Um, I also put the strength card because we could all use a little bit more strength. Strength to take care of ourselves, strength to, um, you know, just withstand all of the information and stuff that we're taking in in the matrix and in this simulation, in this reality. Constantly taking in information, so I... We need strength to, you know, let some of that go and release and take in what we're supposed to. I put the justice card here, which lions represent fire element as well. So, yeah, I put the justice card because, yeah, I mean, we could always use some justice. I put wands cards also because wands correlates to the fire suit. I put the ace of wands because that's an opportunity card. And I kind of aligned them with up there because, yeah, it means something to me. Let me explain. Sorry, I have to burp. Sorry, sorry. Okay, boom. So I put the Ace of Wands right around the sun because the sun is like a promise of a new day, a new opportunity every single day. So every single day, we are experiencing this Ace of Wands. Whether or not we want to believe that or not, the sun is the promise of new opportunity regardless of what the simulation is showing us so there's always a chance to love to connect to collaborate that always exists you don't need to pull the ace of wands card you don't need that it's always there because the sun um next i put the knight of wands which you know carries um the 
the opportunity, the creations. Um, and yeah, I just, I put it right here with temperance because you, sometimes we need patience and able to sustain our creations. And as a fire sign, I feel like I find myself hurrying, hurrying, hurrying so much. So I just put that by temperance because I need to know, yeah, that some things take time to nurture and patience and yes, all that connected. Um, then I also put this Queen of Wands card, which I love this because look at her with her six titties. Um, <laughs> and um, just like in the trees, like she got the knowledge, y'all. She is the knowing. She's the emotional sitting down, the rest, the meditation before it's time to get cracking with the King of Wands. So I put her right here by the emperor and the chariot because when that information comes to you, you want to be able to receive it. You want to be able to know even what to do with it. So I put that by the emperor. And then lastly, I have the um, king of wands, which is the ability to do, to bring that creation into form. The masculine energy is just to go and do, you know, but we don't want to just be doing stuff without knowing what it is that we're doing or what it is that we're getting ourselves into, you know. We have to prepare our strength. We have to prepare our tempers, prepare our patience, and prepare um you know our our energy for reigning you know for being the person who does it the people that who, and being the person that other people look up to so literally i just put this all on the altar y'all you do it in a way that brings meaning to you in a way that makes sense to you. I was going to show me like a video of me actually putting it together. But God said that is unnecessary. You understand the vibes. I've explained it all step by step of what I really did. I think the very first thing that I put down here was that Palo Santo. So, you know, just vibe. Just vibe, y'all. Just vibe and do it. It's Aries season. It's spring equinox. Help yourself. Help spirit help you help the universe help you and honor your heart because that's what the fire represents the sun it's like your spirit your creativity and your ability to just go and do things to make magic happen to alchemize your life without thinking that you have to do a lot because you don't sometimes it's just as simple to get the energy open and moving so i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'm gonna have more coming Mwah. happy airy season and happy Pluto and Aquarius.